uh, we did talk about digital transformation from many angles, including, of course, those who are affected inside of the organization and outside of the organization, right? Customer clients and partners, you name it, right? So how would you summarize maybe three takeaways of success factors for those who are, you know, doing digital transformation already and for those who are really forced to embark on that journey now? The thing to remember is that mistakes in business, when you, when you make a mistake and you are doing it based on the data of your company, it's not a loss. It might be a financial loss at first, but it's not a problem. And a lot of organizations struggle with this because this is where the, the vision of the leadership is important because they need to take responsibility for a decision and allow their staff members to not get caught up in you know, the blame game as you know, many people call it. Um, so with digital transformation and with business today, when you are looking at exploring some sort of a, an idea, um, you wanna try a test and see if a certain system is going to do something to help you. It has to be decided on based on your data it has to be something that you explore first before you just jump into it. So you're not just throwing money at your IT department. And if you are making decisions and taking these experiments from a data-driven uh, perspective, then if something goes wrong, you're, you're not making a mistake. You can learn from it and grow and then iterate that decision or that experiment and do it again in a different way. You learn from it and move on. You don't sit back and go, oh, well, forget it. <laughs> you know, you, you want to take those learning opportunities, even from mistakes that you might be making in business, as long as you are making those, those experiments uh, based on your data and your staff and all the indicators in your organization. If you're making smart decisions, if you're utilizing the tools and you want to try something, don't expect it to, to work on, on day one, but try it, do experiments and, and let it be okay for failure to take place because very few real big experiments work on the first try, first of all. Um, but once you've learned from your first mistake, then you apply that and you try it again and you keep trying. It's this iteration of your business and iteration of ideas and creativity you will eventually succeed in coming up with something. But what you don't want to do is start with an you know, enterprise-wide experiment. You want to start small. And you don't have to throw huge budgets at digital transformation. You don't have to throw huge budgets into IT uh, just to try something. You want to start small, try an idea on a small scale, test it out, see if it works. And if it does, scale it. And if it doesn't, then you iterate. You learn from it and grow and move forward. And the leadership has to take responsibility when something goes wrong. They have to say, okay, that's on me. You know, everybody else, you did your job. Let's try it again, but let's do this this time. And so you're constantly in this state of iteration and uh, creating and growing and change. And it's okay. You know, unlike previously when change was looked at as a bad thing, it's, it's a good thing in the fourth industrial revolution. Perfect, perfect, Brett. Thank you. Thank you so very much for the talk today. So please come back to Soga Talks when you have something new to share with, with the Absolutely. audience because this is enormous and this is iterative process for me, okay? I am transforming my life, right? I'm trying something new. And if I'm failing, like you said, you know, I'm using data. You know, YouTube provides enormous amount of analytics now. Okay, right. where we see what stuck, what didn't, you know. So absolutely, I am part of that experiment and I'm happy to report to the audiences how that is going to go. But yeah, absolutely. Come back, come back. It was fun. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for having me. Thank you.